A blessed Easter Wednesday to you and your family. May the resurrection of Jesus renew our hope for peace and proclaim it to others with our lives. This is Easter Joy for today's Gospel Power. On that same day, two of the disciples were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? He asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth who was a prophet, mighty indeed, and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, Some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it was just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Then he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village, which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening, and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then, Their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered together. They were saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, and how he had been made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The small dreams and shallow hopes of the disciples of Emmaus regarding the national redemption have to be thrown into crisis so that they can be integrated into God's immense vision and plans for humanity and the entire creation. The disciples have pinned their hopes on Jesus, forgetting that it is the vocation of the entire nation of Israel to be the instrument of God's integral salvation. Now the risen Christ, who continues to be the shepherd, who goes after the strange sheep, 
enlightens them. By evoking Israel's scriptures, the incognito Christ opens their minds to how Jesus assumed Israel's vocation to be the suffering servant of Yahweh, who saves by service and sacrifice. He has become Israel in person, in whose broken body on the cross, God's saving plan is fulfilled. Now at table, the breaking of the bread, the symbolic enactment of the sacrifice on Calvary, opens the vision of their hearts to the identity of their traveling companion. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, may our contemplation of the Scripture and celebration of the Eucharist continually open the eyes of our hearts to your presence as the risen Lord of history. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have full knowledge of every person, of our national problems and their causes, and you know the longings of our hearts. Lord, in the coming election, help us know and examine the track record and qualifications of candidates. Enlighten us to elect the right public servants to address our national problems and may they invite public participation in the process. Lord, in the face of election anomalies like vote buying and the use of government funds to campaign, enable us to speak out the truth and act accordingly as upright citizens and practicing Christians, so we can witness in words and actions the faith of 500 years you have gifted to our country. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.